matchless love and beauty Nothing in this world can satisfy Jesus, you are the comfort Your presence is First off, we're going to start by thanking God for bringing us to this place today. We're going to say thank you, God, for journey mercies for yourself. Because it's so possible that um, as you were coming here, something happened. But God preserved you and you are here. So can we just start by thanking God for bringing us here safely? Father, we thank you. We exalt you. We thank you. We thank you. The Bible says we should come into his presence with thanksgiving. Lord, we're here thanking you. We're thanking you. Lord, we thank you. Can we just also begin to thank God? Because today will be a day that we will remember for the rest of our lives. Can we just thank him for that? Just start by thanking him and saying, Lord, today I thank you because it will be a day that I will remember in the name of Jesus. The thing about thanksgiving, especially when it relates to God, is that you don't have to wait till you see it before you start to thank God. You start thanking before you even see it. You start thanking when you make that request. Hallelujah. So let's just thank God because today is a glorious service. Let's thank Him because today you will receive a touch from the Lord. Hallelujah. Just say, Lord, I thank you because I receive a touch from you today. My life will not remain the same. Just thank Him. Let's open our Bibles very quickly to Matthew 5. And we'll read from, we'll read verse 6, Matthew 5. Matthew 5 verse 6 says, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Very, very popular part of the Beatitudes. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Hallelujah. This is the word of God. And we know that the word of God is the only standard, praise God. It is what God says that we believe. We don't believe what people have said. We don't believe based on other people's experiences. We believe only the word of God. And the word of God here is saying to you, to me, to every single one of us, that if you hunger and you thirst after righteousness, you must be filled. Hallelujah. Can we just begin to develop an expectation and just begin to say, Lord, I'm here today. I'm not just here because someone invited me. I'm here because I need an intervention. Hallelujah. I'm here because I need to be free. I'm here because I need healing. I'm here because I need a deliverance. Hallelujah. Can we just speak to the Lord and say, Lord, touch me in this place. I hunger after you. I thirst for you, oh God. I hunger after you. I thirst for you. Today is my day. Today is my day. I'm not living here until you set me free. I am not living here until you set me free in the name of Jesus. And for as many of us who can pray in the language of the Spirit, 
Let's just start by praying in tongues. Masataya and Libra do Shiataya. Lekato Sataya and Libra do Shiataya Lamandi. Let's saturate this atmosphere. Come on, pray. Come on, pray. Masora Bashataya and Lima Kosiataya. Libra do Sataya and Likandori Masora Bashiataya. Lekarabasura Mamande Lima Sota. Likata Shara Mamande Libra do Shiataya. Lord, we submit ourselves to your authority to your lordship to your kingship in this place oh god lord we just thank you we give you praise today is a glorious day thank you because our lives will not remain the same we will not be like jacob who said the lord was in this place and i knew it not we're not here to just spectate we're here to receive from you we're here to touch heaven and so shall it be in jesus mighty name amen hallelujah Hallelujah. Oh, are there people in the room this evening? Hallelujah. Are you glad to be in God's presence? Help me look for five people and tell them, get ready, get ready, get ready. I know you are feeling a bit cold and chilly. Have they started? Yes. Yes. Oh, I can see only two people moving. Move around. Say, get ready, get ready, get ready. I think the people here are from Northern Ontario. The people here are from Southern Ontario. So we need to bridge the gap. So I need you to move out from your seats and find someone on this side. And I need those on this side to move out and find someone on this side and say, get ready, get ready, get ready. Glory to God. I want to welcome you to KICC. This is Let God Arise. Anybody excited to be here? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's like it. All right, a few housekeeping, a few housekeeping. We have several exits in this building. Um, you can follow the signs. We also have washrooms just outside the door. Male, female washrooms to your left. Male, female washrooms, additional stalls to your right. All right, and we're going to be getting started already. Before we proceed, if we have any pastors, ministers of the gospel in the room, and somehow we've missed you, and we've not um, seated you in the place you should be. Please, if you don't mind, let's just locate you, pastors, ministers in the room. We'll do this later in the service also. Please let our protocol um, and ushers know, and we'll bring you to the seat that we have reserved for you. Anybody ready? There's excitement in my spirit this evening. Anybody ready? Glory to God. Get ready for an amazing time in God's presence. God bless you. Praise the Lord. worthy of all I can ever bring Jesus. father we worship you let our incense rise to you from Mississauga to the heavens let it bless your heart Jesus we've come before you as your little ones take pleasure in what you hear from us heaven and earth adores you the angels bow before you beautiful you are beautiful hey. Heaven and earth adores you Angels bow before you Beautiful You are beautiful I'll sing it again Hey, Heaven and earth adores you And David bows before you Beautiful you are beautiful da -da -da. Heaven and earth adores you And David bows before you Beautiful Hey, you are beautiful Can you sing it? Heaven and earth Heaven and earth And the angels bow They're saying 
beautiful beyond descriptions heaven and earth say and angels bow before you beautiful hey come on let him hear your voice you are beautiful heaven and earth say and the angels bow before you you are beautiful hey Beautiful. One more time. Heaven and earth say. And the angels bow before you. You are beautiful. You are beautiful. Say. It's very simple. Lift your voices. Heaven and earth say. And the angels bow before you. Beautiful. There is none like you, Jesus. We'll sing it again. Heaven and earth say. And the angels bow before you. Beautiful. 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 Hey, again. Heaven and earth say. And the angels bow before you. You are beautiful. Beautiful. Sing it again, heaven and earth say, we lift you high, Jesus. You are beautiful. Hey, can we say holy? He's holy. Heaven and earth say, we say holy. Holy are you, Jesus? You are holy. You are holy. Heaven and earth, heaven and hey. and the angels bow before you. Angels bow before holy, 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 holy. Again, heaven and earth, heaven and earth adore you. And the angels bow before you. Sing it, holy, holy. You are holy. Two more times, hey. Heaven and earth.
say my prayers are effective I would like you to say it with confidence say my prayers are effective see there are some kinds of prayers that do not answer to temperament 
The Bible says in the book of James chapter 5, it says the fervent and effectual prayer of a righteous man avails much. It says it makes tremendous power available that is dynamic in its working. Meaning the kind of prayer that avails is the one that is heartfelt, the one that touches your heart. There are some prayers that have to touch your heart for it to be effective. In a few minutes, I want us to pray for this nation, Canada, where we are in. Listen, this is one of the most important prayers you're ever going to pray because you live in this nation. You're going to raise your children in this nation. If at all that doesn't matter to you, listen, the Bible says that God wants all men to be saved and to come to a knowledge of the truth. So listen, this prayer has to touch your heart. It has to touch your heart. And the prayer is extremely simple. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 1, Paul was writing to the church. He says to pray that the word of the Lord may run and have free cause and be glorified as it has been amongst you. That's our prayer tonight. That in this nation, the word of the Lord runs swiftly and is glorified. If you believe in the efficacy of prayer, I'd like you to lift your voice and begin to pray right now. Pray like someone who believes that your prayers are effective. That the gospel runs swiftly and is glorified in this nation. In the mighty name of Jesus, that in every nook and in every cranny, we see the gospel prevailing. We see the gospel prevailing. We see the gospel prevailing on account of our efforts and by the power of God's spirit. The gospel runs swiftly. Oh Canada, let the gospel prevail in you. Let light shine in you. Let the light of God illuminate every dark area in the mighty name of Jesus. I'd like you to lift your voice and begin to pray right now. Pray right now. Pray for this nation. Paul said, let prayers and supplications be made for kings and rulers in authority that we may live a peaceable life in all godliness. He says, it's the will of God who will have all men to be saved and to come to a knowledge of the truth. God wants all men saved. It is possible. It is possible. It is possible in our day. Revival can happen in our day. Come on, I want you to pray like you believe. If you have your prayer language, you can bust out in other tongues right now. The gospel grows and it prevails in this nation. There is no hindrance to the progress of the gospel. In the name of Jesus, we see Christ formed in every heart. We see his banner lifted on every mountain top. We see his name proclaimed in every valley. Christ is formed in you. Oh Canada, Christ is formed in you. The gospel prevails over every prevailing culture. In the name of Jesus, light has come. Light has come. Light has come. We believe the word of the Lord that says light shines in darkness and darkness cannot comprehend. Light shines in darkness and darkness cannot overcome. Come on, pray like you believe. Come on, pray like you believe. Remember, the fervent and effectual prayer is what avails much. It is the heartfelt prayer that avails much. Kelama and Okoprones. Rete kepelema ketapaya. Sebelema ne bagdosa. We long to see a day where the name of Jesus is proclaimed all across this nation again. This nation that was founded on godly principles is returned to its former glories. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Kapareto kepelenendes. Belemando krefenende kibahaya.
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we pray like those who believe in the efficacy of prayer. And we stand as one body tonight. And we agree. Because the Bible says, where two or three shall agree concerning any matter under heaven, it shall be done. Oh, we believe this is even more possible because it's in alignment with your will. You want all men saved and to come to a knowledge of the truth. And therefore we decree that in every nook and in every cranny, all across this glorious nation that you have made, the gospel prevails. In the mighty name of Jesus, by the power of your spirit, on account of our efforts, by your grace that makes the difference, we declare that the gospel prevails in Canada. In the name of Jesus, we give you glory. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Come on, celebrate Jesus if you believe. Amen, 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 amen. amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, now, how great thou art. You are Lord and mighty are your miracles. We stand in love of your holy name. So Lord, we bow and worship you. Let me hear you say God, say what's up? running on empty Lord fill me fill me oh God fill my cup Lord 
I lifted up, Lord. Come and quench this thirsting of. Oh Lord, say breath, breath. Let's raise that praise rhythm and fill it up and make me say, Lord, I want you to fill my cup. Say, fill my say, fill it up, oh Lord. Oh Lord, come and quit. Oh. I need that prayer. From heaven, feed me till I want no more. Fill my cup, fill me up, and make me The king of it all, my rock and rich as Jesus, thank you, God. Mm. 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 Yeah. <laughs> so we lift you high.
raise your voices. Say you. Say you alone. So I lift you high. So I lift you high We give God all the glory So I lift you high, Lord yeah. Tap into it, tap into it So I lift you up Hallelujah. Just give it up to your God. He's worthy of your praise. Give it up to him. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. We're about to take our offering. Um, you have a brochure on your seat. If you need an envelope, there is one in the brochure. Just pick it out. However, you can also pay your tithes, your offerings, special seats electronically. So there's a QR card behind the brochure. You can scan it and the ways to give will just appear on your phone and you can do so. While we're putting that together, I just want us to go to, to the book of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 9 to 10. Just to have you know, an understanding of what we're doing and why we're doing what we're doing. So Proverbs 3, 9 to 10 says, Glorify God with all your wealth, honoring him with your first fruits, with every increase that comes to you, then every dimension of your life will overflow with blessings from an uncontainable source of inner joy. Hallelujah. This scripture says to glorify God with your wealth because you acknowledge that it is him that has given you everything that you have. And what you're doing now is just saying, Father, I'm coming with a token, a token out of all that you have blessed me with, to bless you, to, to honor you, to glorify you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you have your seats ready, if you have your envelope ready, or if you have, um, if you've done that, scan the QR code, let us just say a prayer together. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to come with our seats, to honor you with the same. We acknowledge, O oh God, that indeed all that we have is from you. And for this, we want to say thank you. We thank you because your word assures us that even as we bring our seed, we know, we know beyond every reasonable doubt that it comes back to us. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over. We give you the praise. We give you the glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. How many are still excited about what God is said to do this evening? Glory to God. It's okay if you want to sit for a second. To sit for a second. Um, for those who have um, difficulty reading, um, maybe because of the dimmed light, we have multiple options to give. You can request for an envelope. You can scan the QR code. You can do an email transfer. Info at kicccanada.ca and the Lord bless you richly in Jesus name glory to God all right in the room we have a couple of Canada's finest gospel artists and we've had some of them minister to us already I know some have seen on the flyer that JJ Erstein will be with us and I can confirm that he's going to be ministering live on this stage tomorrow evening 
so you want to go out of your way and ensure that you drag everybody into this room and if you are scared about the capacity we have an overflow for them all right all right are you going to do that also we have in the room we have minister Kola beckers in the room help me celebrate him we have minister david who has ministered already help me celebrate him minister shay who has ministered already help me celebrate him minister josephine will be ministering tomorrow help me celebrate her glory to god and coming up next is a friend a brother no stranger to kisis in canada please help me welcome minstrel osas as he comes to take us to another level of worship don't stop 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 Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Now, if you know that you came here and you are about to experience the miraculous, listen, I don't play when I go into worship. If you know that you're truly here to worship, somebody jump on your feet and make some Holy Ghost crazy noise. If you know that the heavens are open already, walk up to five persons. Tell them, I see the glory of God already. Come on, somebody. Five persons. Five persons. Five persons. My God. The heavens are open. I tell you. I tell you. My God. Lift your hands with me. As often as I breathe. Lift your hands with me. Let my whole life lift your hands with me. Be expression of your grace. I say, as I leave. That's all for us I bring. Let my whole life be expressions of your grace. Slip your hands in the air. We cry, our Father, hallowed be, Allah na bo shataya, hallowed, and hallowed, we cry, our Father, we cry, siyata, hallowed be, hallowed. Said I have more than a song today. Come on, lift it up. I brought myself. I am the sacrifice. Lift it up. Say, I am more. I brought myself. Your worship, I am. Lift your hands, receive that. With my father said I am at the altar who's at the altar tonight come on lift your hand said leave me at the altar leave me at the altar La Kataya La Sotabaya Nemo I am at the altar hey, I am at the altar with my father said leave me at the altar Lift your hands, receive with me, sir.
Somebody go ahead and give God a shout. Time is next. I said, I need five people to run around in this place and give God a shout. Hallelujah. I said, I need five people to give God a shout in this place. Hallelujah. Everybody put your hands together. One, two, three. Make it louder. Say the glory. The glory, the glory of the Lord is coming down. How many of you believe it? The glory, the glory, the glory of the Lord is coming. Here we go. One, two. It's coming down. It's coming down. All of my family. It's coming down. on you tonight. The power, the power, the power, the power, the power of the Lord. Here we go. Say. Oh! 
you're still standing he thought he got you come and say what no man everybody say what no man can lift it up with me everybody you say what no can do you have done one more time say what no what no man can do a lot of higher emotion you have done how about when he healed you can do you have done lift your hands and say what no man or what no man can do you have done say you have done for oh, me Satabayana, what no man Somebody can needs to sing it from the bottom of your heart. What no man can do. Now say, what no man has done. What no man has done. You have done. You have done for me. What no man That's why I'm here tonight. What no man has done. Say, for the last time, what no man said. What no man He said, What no man can do, for the Bible says, Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us, even as it is written. 
Cursed is everyone that hangs on a tree that the blessings of Abraham may rest upon us. No man could do that for you. That's the greatest thing Jesus came for us to do. Praise God. Heavenly Father, we give you glory tonight. We thank you for the presence of your Holy Spirit. We thank you for the anointing. Thank you for your word is here tonight. Minister to someone. Touch lives. That there be a release of grace. A release of favor. A release of testimony. Lord, minister to someone today. Give them an uncommon testimony. To the glory of your name. We praise you. We know you will exceed our prayer. In Jesus name. Put your hands together and bless the Lord tonight. Come on. Clap your hands. Oh ye people. Shout unto God. With a voice of triumph. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. And the choir doesn't need to come up. Help me to look for C sharp somewhere there. Look for C sharp. Is that it? All right. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name tonight, Jesus. I will release healing virtue in this place. There is nothing you cannot do. There's no mountain you cannot move. Quiet, don't worry, don't worry. If you have said it, then you you have a track record. Hey! You're not a man to stop doing. There is nothing. There is nothing. You have a track record. You are not a man to stop doing. Sing it one more time. Sing it like your testimony. Come on, if you believe it. Nothing you cannot. There's no mountain you cannot move. You have a track record. You are not a man to stop doing. The Bible says, Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law. Sickness is a curse, ultimately. Sickness is a curse. Some of it is caused by us. The things we eat, the places we go, the things we are exposed to. But when God made man originally, no sickness, no disease. And as a result of the fall of man, sickness came into the world. But how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who went about healing the sick and setting free those who were harassed by the devil. For God was with him. Acts 10, 38. So, God's desire and intention is the total release and healing of the persons. And I believe tonight somebody will be healed here. God will set you free. The word of the Lord will minister to you. And you will never be the same. I came all the way to come and minister to somebody and you will have a testimony. If you believe, shout a good amen. Well, before I came into this building to minister tonight, I felt led to pray for somebody who has intestinal disorder. If you are the one, just come out. Somebody has a migraine, you need to come out. Somebody, I think you have a bladder problem, come out. Eating disorder, I was wondering. Eating disorder, and, uh, it, doesn't, it, it doesn't seem to be common in our community for people to have eating disorder. People in our community like their food, and I'm saying praise God. But then any other health issue that I didn't mention, I want you to come out. Because tonight, God will heal you and he will give you a testimony. He will touch your body 
he will set you free and you will never be the same thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus just keep the keyboard going yeah just keep playing Jesus now just a chord just a chord just a chord here about a voice i still in the same key but just a chord here oh it is jesus oh it is jesus it's jesus in my soul oh i have touched the hem of his garments and his blood has made me I've tried all I could seemed like nothing did me any good then I heard Jesus was passing by then I decided to give him a try. Oh, it is G. Oh, 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 yes, it is G. Tonight, I believe that God will touch you and He will heal your body. He will give you a testimony. You will not see that issue anymore. For oh, I have touched. <laughs> For I have touched the hem of his hem of his garment, and his blood has made me. I know his blood made me. Everyone who's at the altar, look at me. Healing is part of the redemption. Matter of fact, tonight, the word of the Lord for Toronto, which the Lord placed on my heart, is to speak on living in the overflow. You were meant to live not in deficit, but in the overflow. Overflow of joy, overflow of healing, overflow of provision, not survivor. But abundance not overwhelmed but overflow that too many people even in church who are overwhelmed but they are not in the overflow and I can tell you as a person who's been a believer for a few years now just 51 years go born again 51 years ago from being a Muslim whose name was Ahmed I can tell you that you could truly live in the overflow one of the ways to get it is by faith somebody say by faith tonight even before i lay hands on you i want you to have faith that if jesus said it then it's good that's why we sang if you have said it then you will do it because you have a track record of keeping your word you know our god is the only god whom when you open his book he shows up I don't know any other author who does that every other author when you open their book they're not even around some of them are dead when you read Shakespeare he's dead Cicero is dead Aristotle is dead and all the great authors are all dead some of them are alive but they don't even know you bought their book but the moment you open the Bible the author shows up oh glory to God Almighty and because of that something is going to happen to you he has a track record of keeping his word. He's not a man to stop doing it now. I'm going to pray for you tonight. God will touch you. Whatever ailment, whatever health issue. You know, sometimes I just like to just pray and just go. And I'm going to lay hand quickly on each person. 
Now, nah, nobody join in this group. Anybody else just stay where you are. Just those who already came forward. Uh, they are the ones I'm going to be praying for tonight. And I want you to believe God. I want you to believe God. I've seen, I've seen God at work. I've seen his healing. I've seen his miracles. I've seen open doors. I've seen testimony. I've seen favor. So maybe when I make another call tomorrow, you might be the one to jump out tomorrow. But let's just pray for the guys who are out here tonight. Praise the Lord. So Matthew 8, 17 says that it may be fulfilled, which was written by the prophet Isaiah, that he himself, not Angel Gabriel, not Michael, but he himself took. Now my teacher in primary school said took means he's passed. She's still alive. I'm going to be at her birthday uh, in a few days time. My, my teacher in primary five said he himself took means he's already taken. So it's no longer yours. Praise the Lord. And then the Bible says Exodus 15 26 if you obey the Lord to do according as he's commanded he will not put any of the diseases of Egypt upon you. Praise the Lord. First Peter chapter 2 verse 24 says he himself took our infirmities. Isaiah 53 from verse 3 says who has believed our report? Unto whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? He was wounded for our transgression. Bruce for our iniquities, the chastisement for our peace was upon him by whose stripes we were healed. So somebody's going to be healed tonight. Is that a health issue they wrote on that paper in your hand? Huh? Your documents. I'm going to be praying with you. And God will give you a testimony. What's your name? Huh? Eunice. Nabo Shekayera. You have a child? I said, do you have a child? Yeah, I can see. I can see your child as I'm asking. Come. You've been through all the been throughs. But God's going to turn your story around. No, no, don't kneel down. Stand up so I can lay hands, okay? You've been through so much. You've been through so much pain. You've had people take advantage of you. Take advantage financially. Take advantage. All kinds. Physically, there have been liars who took all sorts. This child is a girl. Oh, is it your child? Is it a girl? Oh, Wow, you have seven children, but I see a girl. I don't know why I keep seeing this girl. How old are your children? Okay. Okay. The baby, the baby is a girl or boy? Okay. Okay, come close. Spirit of the living God. Change the story of this woman. Come upon you from today and change your story. Everything about you is going to turn around in the name of Jesus. Put your hand in my hand. You've been through so much. You've been through so much hurt. You've been through abuse, physical abuse, spiritual abuse, emotional abuse. Somebody had taken advantage of you. They've, it's like even work you handed over whatever you had into their hand, they still were not satisfied. How accurate is this word, madam? How accurate? I said, how accurate is what I'm saying? Okay. So I'm going to pray for you tonight. And God will change your story. Eunice, you're from where? Edo State? Yeah, I can pick all, all the story of your life. You have a track record of keeping your word. You're not about to stop in the name Father, in the name of Jesus, is your family here? Who are you calling, madam? Who are you calling? Okay, just put it down, put it down, put it down, put it down. Madam, look at me, look at me, look at me. 
I might just bypass you and go to someone else. What are you doing? Okay, put the photo on. The photo of your baby who is sick, put it on. Let's walk with her faith. What's your baby's name? Ah, you can't search this phone all of today. How old is your baby? Is that the 14 year old? Is that the one? What's wrong with this one? Okay. Okay, so maybe that's the bloody thing I saw before I came to minister. I saw somebody with all man herself, intestinal and bladder problem. Lift your hands. Naido Shakaiba. Teko Breka Esetoro Nabaide Dosh. Give me your document. Put your documents in my hand. Father, tonight, I pray for this woman. I command a total change of story. Healing for her children. Deliverance for her life. Regularization of her stay here in Canada. Doors to open. Favor to flow. Power come upon you from today. Your story to change. Father, change her story. Wipe her tears. From today, wipe her tears. Fill her mouth with laughter. Celebration to break out in her family. From today, let there be a change. Let there be a change. Let there be a change. Jesus' name. Eunice. From today, your story changes. Make sure you see the pastor after today's service. But you need to take six Fridays. Six Fridays. Just wait on God every Friday. Fasting and praying. Fasting and praying. If you have somebody to help you write it down, write Psalm 24, Psalm 27, Psalm 46. Those three. 24, 27, 46. 24 says, lift up your head, O ye gates. Be lifted up, ye everlasting doors. Doors are going to open for you. Your children are going to succeed. Breakthrough will come for you. I don't know who it is. Somebody's around even here in Canada who's taking advantage of you. God will fight the person and he will win your battle. Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? He's the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the enemy came to eat my flesh. Look at me, Eunice. From today, light is going to shine in your journey. You will no longer walk in darkness. You also, you don't do all kinds of rofo rofo before. But God will turn your story around. Psalm 46 says, the, uh, God is our help. Our very present help in the time of need. God will help you. I said God will help you. Now the daughter I'm picking out of your seven children is a child of destiny. She's going to really stand out. Her gift is going to make a global room for her. So get ready for it. And as for your documents, whatever it has to do with your stay in this country, somehow, somehow, oh wow, I just saw a revelation. Everything that was written against you, I saw a mighty hand tearing it apart. There is nothing you cannot do. There's no mountain you cannot do. If you have said it, then you will do it. Hey, you have a track record. Father, surprise this woman. 
Turn our story around. Shut the mouth of devils. Silence the enemy. In Jesus name. Look at me Eunice. You went to one or two places where they were giving you funny prophecies and you were afraid. Don't be afraid. Your destiny is awesome. Forget about those funny prophecies they gave you. It is cancelled from today. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Alright, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. So, there is nothing you cannot do. Hey, there's no mountain you cannot do. Rebosa, Taliri Rosha. You have a track record. 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 Everyone who came for health issue, just come to the front. When I lay hand on you quickly, I want you to believe God. Look at me. Whatever the health issue is, if I feel laid out, I'll ask you. If I don't feel led, I will not ask you. But I want you to be ready for God to heal you. Amen. The Bible says, Acts 10, 38. How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who went about doing good, healing the sick, setting captives free. And I believe God that he'll touch you tonight. He'll set you free. And he'll give you a testimony. Whatever it is, power of God is in this place power of God is in this place if you need a creative miracle God will do it a spiritual for a sister's fellowship in, in Nigeria in a part of Nigeria called Onicha in a small village called Onpo they have like 10,000 women who gathered there and 21 women came out who had ear problem they were all healed but there was one particular woman when they were doing some kind of, I don't know if it's a nose operation, they damaged her eardrum. So she had no eardrum. Can't hear with one ear. When God boom, touched her, we blocked the good ear. That ear which was damaged, which had no eardrum, she began to hear clearly. He has a track record of doing it. Spirit of the living God, I release healing virtue. On everyone who is at the altar tonight. I break the power of sickness and disease. I command total health. Total healing. I lose you from the grip of sickness. I lose you from the grip of sickness. I command your body to be healed. Command your mind to be healed. I, I release you from today. Lena tapro sikia ranosh kaere. Renos Kebale, Lero Tebre, Noriska, Maretala Rosia. Whatever the health issue is, be free from today. 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 Power of God to touch you. Set you free. Lose you. Set you free. Lose you. In the name of Jesus. I release healing virtue on you from today. You will not see that health issue anymore. In the name of Jesus, power of God sets you free. What you could not do before, you begin to do from today. I lose you. I release you. I command your healing. I command your release. In the name of Jesus. Father, everyone at the altar tonight, set them free. Total freedom power of God to touch you from today and set you free in the name of Jesus I lose you from today I break the grip of sickness and disease in the name of Jesus Reka Namorosa Ishkayene Rose Hekatele Rama Ma Eta Kopre Ketere Be free from today Be free from today Lady what's your name? favor what do you do huh I'm an you're an analyst i don't know what it is but it seems like you gave some people money and the money just kind of disappeared i don't know in what context so i'm gonna pray for restoration 
restoration. Amen. Father, I pray for this young lady today. For restoration of everything stolen, everything taken. Everything stolen, everything taken. Let there be a restoration. In the name of Jesus. And favor, the person who walked away from your life, their departure was necessary for your discovery. Somebody walked away, they hurt you so much because you gave so much to the friendship, to the relationship, and they hurt you so deeply. But God said the departure was necessary for you to find destiny. So I pray for your total restoration tonight. Your total healing. A release of joy on your life. You will rise out of the brokenness, out of the pain, into a new season, new level, new favor. In Jesus' name. Somebody praise the Lord for her. You have a track record of keeping the word. You know. If I've prayed for you, you can just go back to your seats. Erabosha, come close. What's your name, sir? What's your name? Femi. What do you do, Femi? Huh? A project manager. Father, I pray for Femi. I pray for total health. Total deliverance. I release grace on your life. I speak into your destiny today that you will fulfill purpose. You will excel. You feel like what I seen about Femi. You're like a, a, a six cylinder engine, but you're firing on only one or two cylinders. Your destiny is bigger than where you, where you are. So today I pull you into purpose and into your calling. You will not waste your years. And you will not waste your destiny. You will fulfill your calling. Something seems to be hiding you. But we bring you into limelight. To occupy your destiny and your calling. In the name of Jesus. Family look at me. You have struggles even with your faith and some things. But uh, there is a level of the call of God on your life. I don't even know you. I don't even know if you are born again. But. There's a level of the call of God on your life. So you need to tell God, look, here I am. I don't even know what this man is talking about. Or use me. I remember the first time I showed up in church. If somebody told me God is calling me, I said, to do what? <laughs> but there's a level of destiny to you, Femi. There's something about your destiny. And you shouldn't be Saul who is hiding in the wrong place. You must fulfill purpose. God bless you. Lord, heal this lady tonight. Oh, Jesus, okay. I release you from every trauma that you've been through. I set you free from trauma. And I also command healing virtue to go, to, excuse me, you are, the, you are the one working with me tonight? Put your hand on her back. There's pain in her back. I command total healing to go through the whole of your body including your spine I release you from every health issue in the name of Jesus particularly the trauma you've been through and the hurt the trauma, the hurt, the trauma, the hurt the trauma, the hurt I release you from today I call you into the fullness of your purpose, Jesus name from today walk in your destiny Jesus name. Alright, I gotta do this very fast. In the name of Jesus, receive your healing tonight. The Lord Jesus sets you free. Freedom. Be free. In Jesus' name. Total health. Total deliverance. In the name of Jesus. Total health. Jesus' name. Come quick. Lift your hands up. What's the health issue? 
high blood pressure and swollen legs who is the person who is suffering from insomnia you're not sleeping enough you just somebody who's having insomnia oh it's you well they were well they were here i kept hearing insomnia and i was wondering all right just stand there i prayed for you before but we'll pray one more time lift your hands up spirit of the living god set this woman free lose her from every grip every grip of darkness i release the power of god on you today be free from every blood pressure peace 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 where are your children I see too much argument, so I would, that's why I'm asking. Where are they? No, 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 no. And some. Okay, okay. Because I seem to see a little some argument among your children, and I wonder what is the argument about. It's true. <laughs> Untimely dead argument. Okay, from today we we'll command healing for you. You will live long. And you will live strong. Amen. No weapon formed against you will prosper. Amen. Will pull you out of sudden death. Amen. Into living long. Amen. Every arrow of darkness is broken for you. In Jesus name. Come quick, come quick, come quick. Lift your hands up. What should I pray for? Okay, you work in the hospital. Okay, what's there? What's in their what's their health issue? All right, that stomach thing I picked, bleeding in the stomach. Okay. Okay. Three heart surgeries last night. What's your name? Carol. Carol what? Okay. Where are you from originally? Jamaica. Okay. I re oh glory to God. I release you. Oh, Jesus, I release you. You come from a generation of Christians. Your grandmother, your mother, there's a generation of believers in your lineage. So this attack is of the devil. So we release healing virtue right now on those people and command total health from tonight. Power! Set those people free. I lay hand on your brother and I command he would live. 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 In the name of Jesus. So shall it be. God bless you. Quickly everyone come quick so I can lay hands. What's the problem? You or the child. Yourself. Lift one hand up. God is going to heal you of asthma. Look at me. God is going to heal you of asthma. And you will testify. My father-in-law used to have asthma. It's a pastor. Then one person testified that they were healed of asthma. So he just told himself, if God can heal that person, he'll heal me too. God healed him. Didn't hear of asthma anymore. We took him to London when he was like 73 or 75 for an eye surgery. And they did a blood test. And the doctor said, and uh, the blood, uh, is that, what do they call them? Phlebotomists? Those who do the, okay, they did the blood test. And he said, did you ever suffer from asthma before? He said, yes. You see, the asthma was still in the blood but could not lift its head. The power of God held it down. They could see the, the signature of asthma in his blood, but the thing could not raise his head after the healing virtue. Tonight, I set you free. I command your health to be totally restored. Wherever you pick this from, genetically, it's no longer yours. Loose! Free from tonight. Jesus' name. Everyone who comes to the altar, get ready. I'm going to touch you quick and be ready to receive. What's the issue? Lift one hand up. Father, bless this man. Open the door. Change his story. Open his eyes. Give him a breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, let his story turn around from today from today from today let his story turn around jesus name what's the issue huh 
Okay, what could you not do before? You couldn't bend properly. Lord, as I touch this young man, heal! Jesus name. Okay, blessings on you. Okay, where are you from? Huh? From Togo. Oh, Diovu Benis. Ah. What's your name? Father Hilayo. Totally. From today, what you could not do, let him be able to do. Are you in the name of Jesus? I want you to bend down and touch your knees. Touch your knees. And touch your leg. And come up. In the name of Jesus, touch it again. In the name of Jesus, touch it again. In the name of Jesus. Bye-bye, bye-bye. God bless you. Are you? What's the problem? Huh? Insomnia. Okay, you are the second person I was speaking. Somebody was having insomnia. Put your hand in my hand. Peace. From today I release you from attack of the mind in the name of Jesus. I lose you from everything that have happened in your past. I release you into grace and favor. Jesus name. Jesus name. Amen. What's your name? Keep hearing that you need to release yourself and forgive yourself of the things that have happened in the past. Because every time your mind is like, ah, I'm not sure God has really, 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 really forgiven me. He said that was your past, not your future. God bless you, Deepo. Quick, everyone, what's your name? What's the problem? Wow, Jesus. Tonight, I release healing virtue on this lady. Give her uncommon testimony. Total health. Loose! Every issue that has to do with your body. I command total health from today. There will be testimony. Nebosha, don't go yet. I want everyone to stretch your hand towards this woman. Picking wrong signals the enemy lying about what he's going to do with her life. I command total health. Total healing. Total health. You would live. You will live. You would live. In Jesus name. Somebody praise the Lord for her. Everyone else just come close. I might just have to pray one general prayer for all of you but I want you to believe God that you'll be healed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. When did you come to Canada again? Every, when I turn around in London, he's there. When I come to Canada, he's here. When did you come? Yeah, I know you're supposed to open. Okay, you started here in Toronto. All right. Please celebrate him. The whole family comes to KRCC London. And you were in Oxford. When I was ministering in Oxford, was it last month? Yeah, 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 yeah. Praise the Lord. Father, heal your son. That attack on his body, which the doctor says terminal, we cancel today. We release health issue. Total 100%. Your son will live. He would 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 live to the glory of your name. Your son would live. Power! Set him free. Total health. Jesus name. This your today I speak health into your body. This Friday Oh wow. There's two that go my grandchildren and three great grandchildren. And two of them are going for us. Oh. Okay. Father, we release healing virtue. We take authority over the genetic problem. We we'll lose the family from collective captivity. We we'll break them free. We we'll command healing. Healing, deliverance, healing. Jesus! 
set free set the family free set the children free we curse glaucoma we command total health there is nothing you cannot do we command healing tonight set free let there be a new testimony and for your daughter to let there be I feel a sense of power of God coming upon you in a way that is going to totally change your story and your family story so get ready I felt that something left something is broken something is broken something is broken Jesus name God bless you everyone just raise your hand I may not be able to have time to lay hand one by one tonight a new season a new story a new testimony you have a track record of keeping your word nature tayaba is katalera batosa jesus set free favor on your life a divine turn around nashitiki kusoraba a change of story from tonight a change of story from tonight I set you free. Total health. Total health. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Total health. Total health. In the name of Jesus. Freedom from today. Freedom from today. I break you from every chain of the past, every hurt of the past. I lose you from every grip, every chain of the past, every hurt of the past. I pull you out of the past into a new season. Into a new season! Power come upon you from today. Lose you! from today you are not the person they said you are you are whom God says you are free in Jesus name God bless you insomnia leaves you from tonight command grace peace grace peace Jesus name Lord I pray for this young man that you will change his story. I command his body to come alive. I command his body to come alive. Parorane siaba, torene kabali, ranosi, kayerana, marelosi, karerosha, yarom, brediz, ali, kadoraba, rano, kayerana, mosika. I lose you. You'll be a miracle and a testimony. 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 In Jesus' name. Somebody praise the Lord tonight. Come on. This your son? Who is this? What happened? Father, we touch this young man. Command his mouth to open, his voice to be heard, and for him to speak. What's your name? My name is Jean. Jean. Where are you from? Togo? Congo Brazzaville. Hey, I was there three years ago. You know ICC churches? Oh, you were watching me online when I was in Brazzaville. When I was in Paris. With Ivan. Yeah, I'll be there again two months' time. All right. All right. All right. Father, I pray for this young man. Look at me. What's your name again? 
My son is the pastor of, of one of our churches in London now. When he was four years old, he wasn't talking. I had to take him to a speech therapy nursery. Today he talks too much. <laughs> He's now the pastor. He's the resi second resident pastor of KRCC UK. I pray for this young man. The world will hear from him. I command his voice to come. The word to flow. Healing to be his portion. Total health. I command him to have the tongue of a ready writer. Speak! In Jesus name. So shall it be. Alright ladies, just raise your hand. Father, I lay hand on these ladies. I command total testimony from today. Command total change from today. Total turnaround from today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. This lady in particular, what's your name? Come again? Norma. Norma. There's too much struggle. It's like you keep looking at yourself like, I've been here all this year. What have I achieved? So I command a change of story. And divine speed. Change of story. And divine speed. Change of story. And divine speed. Pause in the Russia. Change of story and divine speed. So shall it be. Jesus' name. Somebody praise the Lord for them. Norma. Tell your son to stop fighting. Is he? Does he have a relationship with his father? No. And he's fighting. He's very angry. So tell him to stop being angry so he can walk in his own purpose. And so that he will not repeat his father's devil. There is a destiny to your son and he must not repeat his father's mistake. Father, I pray. For that young man, that he will walk in the destiny, in the purpose, in the calling you have for him. I break him. Oh, and also wrong relationships, wrong friendships. I set him free from wrong friendships and wrong relationships. In Jesus' name. How accurate is this word? 100%. Somebody give God praise. So Lord, I pray for Norma. You give our uncommon testimony. Supernatural blessing will come on your life. Favor will rest. In Jesus' name. Look at me, Norma. Some things have worked for you. Seem to have a nice place you live in, but that's not enough. Your destiny is bigger than that. God will bless you. Lord bless these young ladies. Let your purpose stand in their lives. Let your counsel stand in the name of Jesus. Let today be the beginning of a new beginning. What's your name? Bolua Tife. How old are you? 20. What do you do? What do you do? What are you doing here? You're a student. Look at me, Bolua Tife. This is not intended to embarrass you. But somebody took advantage. Probably when you were much younger, you've never been able to tell anyone. 
but from tonight God heals you and sets you free a new season begins for you what the person did will not stop your destiny and will not stop your purpose you fulfill your calling you will rise to new levels you will rise to destiny bigger than they ever imagined and to the shame of that person Jesus name somebody praise the Lord for her how accurate is the word it's very accurate very accurate so that was your past not your future the future is awesome somebody praise the Lord You have a track record Keeping your word You're not a man to stop Were you blessed tonight? So can we close and go home now? <laughs> praise the Lord I said praise the Lord I usually don't want to lay hand one by one because once I start I never I want to take the time to minister to each person but I believe God that everyone who came to the altar today is the beginning of a new beginning the beginning of a new turnaround beginning of a new season the beginning of a new favor of open doors of testimonies of glory of breakthrough in the name of Jesus God will do a new thing in your life if you believe it, say, I receive it. Shout like you believe it, I receive it. I receive it. Come on, give God praise one more time. One of the ways to walk in the miraculous is for you to learn to flow in the grace that's happening in somebody else and receive it like it's yours. So I want everyone in the house to stand up. Give God the biggest praise you can give tonight. Just put your hands together. Bless the Lord. Give God a praise. Oh bless. 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 Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless His name. Oh bless. Oh bless. Oh bless. Oh bless. Come on, put your hands together one more time. Give God a glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord tonight. I want to share a brief message with you tomorrow. We'll take some more time and minister to people. How many of you were blessed already tonight? Let me see your hand. So get online. Make sure you tell somebody they missed out tonight. And even the word is going to so bless your life. I said the word is going to so bless your life. You will never be the same. I said you will never be the same. I like to read from the book of Psalms, Psalm 50, verse, verse 10 and 11. Psalm 50, verse 10 and 11. It says in the, in the New International Version, For every animal of the forest is mine, and the cattle on a thousand hills. I know every bird in the mountains, and the insects in the fields are mine. Wow. And then in the King James Version, that same passage says he owns the cattle upon a thousand hills. The cattle upon a thousand hills. So God owns the cattle upon a thousand hills. Now tonight I'd like to share with you on the overflow. Somebody say the overflow. I believe God wants you to live in the overflow. To enjoy the overflow. To experience the overflows. If the scriptures say... 
He owns the cattle upon a thousand hills. It also means that he owns the hills on which they stand. And if your father owns the cattle upon a thousand hills, then it means that the blessings of your father should be on your life. Is somebody hearing me? So God wants you to live in the overflow. And you must understand the overflow dimension of God. Or else you will be satisfied with limited living and you will think, oh, I'm doing well. As I look across the hall, I see a good number of people who are first generation immigrants into, the, into, in, into Canada. And so you are likely to compare where you live where, where you, with where you used to live. And you therefore think, oh, well, compared to where I'm coming from, I'm doing well. Hey, bro, that's not overflow. That's just survival, man. That's just, okay, it's better than where I'm coming from. But that's not your destiny. Your destiny is bigger. I came all the way from London, England to announce to someone that you are walking into the overflow. You are entering the overflow level. And I don't care if there are no two cents in your pocket tonight. I came to let you know what your destiny is. And I prophesy that your destiny will be fulfilled. Your calling will come to pass. You will achieve your purpose. You will become whom God said you will be. If you believe it, shout, shout I, receive. I receive. Listen, we serve the God of overflowing, overwhelming abundance. Overflowing and overwhelming abundance. Haggai chapter 2 verse 8 and 9 says the silver is mine and the gold is mine. And the glory of this present house shall be greater than the former. So if you are listening to me tonight, you need to know you serve a God of excess without stress. Excess without stress. If you have to do three jobs in Toronto, you are not living in the overflow. You are living in the overwhelmed. You are living in the overwhelmed. You are living an overwhelmed life. You need to learn how to live in the overflow, in the excess, without stress. Because the Bible says, Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20, And now unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we ask or think according to the power <laughs> that works in us. That's the God we serve. We serve the God of excess without stress. God does not just do what is enough. God always does what is more than enough. I like somebody in this hall to shout more than enough. More Say it like you believe it more than enough. More than enough. Say with me, my God, my God is the God of more than enough. More than enough. Every time God revealed himself to the children of Israel, he revealed himself by a certain name. And one of the names by which God revealed himself is El Shaddai. The God who is more than enough everything God does is more than enough I'm not a doctor but they say the intestine inside you is 22 feet he goes on and on and on do you need 22 feet to carry food from one end to the other but God just wanted to show I'm the God of excess the cones inside your eyes are no less than 8 million in each eye 8 million cones so that you can handle color that's the God of more than enough. You may not see them, but the follicles, the hair inside your ear are over a million. In fact, close to a billion. Amazing. The ones in your, on your head cannot be counted. That's why the Bible says God numbers them. They are numbered, not even counted. He knows each one of the hair. That's how awesome our God is. The God who threw 200 sex trillion stars into space. You may not even know what they are there for, but he created them for his pleasure. That is the one you call your father. And yet you are struggling to have beef on your table when he said he owns the cattle upon a thousand hills. And you can't even buy one little chicken. Something is not connecting. But from tonight it must connect. God does not serve and do things in little ways. He does things in the overflow ways. He blesses in the overflow ways. Everything about your life must overflow. 
I prophesy from tonight everything must overflow. It's too late for the devil to hold you down. Somebody scream too late. Say it like you mean it too late. During the construction of the tabernacle, God told them to get gold. They got gold until it was too much. Exodus 35. You need to know you serve the God of the overflow. He's an overflowing God by reason of covenant. Le Le Leviticus 26 verse 8 to 10 shows he's the God of overflow. The overflow of gold came to Solomon. 1 Kings chapter 10. When Solomon needed gold for the house of God. They were bringing gold from everywhere. Because the Lord whom you serve is the God of the overflow. David said, my cup is full and overflowing. I lay hand on somebody tonight. You may be hearing me and you are saying, at least I'm satisfied I have a good job. Hey, that's a lie from hell. Your life is bigger than a job. Say with me, my life is bigger than a job. Say it one more time, my life is bigger than a job. I choose from today to live in the overflow. To live in the overflow. I receive the overflow. In the name of Jesus, shout amen three times. I didn't come during these two days to line up with you. I came to rattle your mind, rattle your brain, and make you know that, hey, you are too satisfied with little. You are too comfortable with where you are. God has a destiny to you, a purpose to you, a calling to you, a greatness to you. There is something about your future. That is bigger than where you are and you're satisfied. I prophesy on somebody today, you are going to walk into your destiny. You will operate in your destiny. Shout, I receive it. Sometimes overflow is preceded by the overwhelmed. But then that overwhelming situation is your chance to experience God. The Bible talks of the widow of Zarephath. This woman didn't have enough. First Kings chapter 17. There was no food. But then the prophet was sent to her. He came to her house. And she said, hey man of God. The flour in my house is just enough to make one dough of bread. Me and my son, we eat and we die. And the man of God said, make mine first. If there is no release, there cannot be an increase. It is the seed that produces the increase. And so the woman believed she released the bread, she released the seed, and the whole village ate from her house for three and a half years. Alebosha, Neri Kabarosi, somebody in this service today, where you used to beg, they will come back and beg you. Where you used to look for work, if you can say a powerful amen, it will come to pass. Where you used to go look for work will become yours. Yeah. Look at me, look at me. As I, was flying into, as I was flying to Toronto, I was speaking something in my spirit. Some businesses, some people don't even realize. Canada is still a virgin land. It is looking for people who will own things. And they don't have to be black, white, red, or yellow. They just have to be people who believe. Open your right hand. I prophesy to that hand. You will own businesses. You will own companies. You will own territories. You will own businesses. You will own companies. You will own territories. You will take territories. You will take over. In the name of Jesus. Shout amen with fire. Now slap your hands together and give God praise. Somebody say overflow. overflow. Say it like you mean it. Overflow. overflow. In 2 Kings chapter 4, we see the overflow. The woman said, I have nothing. The, in 2 Kings chapter 4 verse 1 to 6, I have nothing. The creditor is coming. My husband left us broke. You see, her husband was a prophet. So being a preacher is no proof that you can live in the overflow. You got to have the revelation before it works for you. Her husband was a preacher, but did not walk in the overflow. Rather, he walked in the overwhelmed. He died broke. He left his family broke. The, the bailiffs, I'm sure you have bailiffs here. 
the bailiffs have come they've carried everything from the house and they, it's, it didn't pay they still needed more so they were coming for her sons man the woman had lost her husband now you want to take the only thing that makes her happy her sons you might as well kill her the woman then cried to the man of God you've got to know where to go when you don't know what to do know where to go when you don't know what to do you've got to know where to go when you don't know what to do and the funniest thing in Canada America United Kingdom is that when you are in debt they tell you okay we know some people will help you consolidate your debt it's still debt know where to go when you don't know what to do the woman ran to the man of God she knew the anointing destroys the yoke the anointing can make a difference it's not because I have nothing to do that's why I'm in, in Toronto tonight it's because somebody here is going to have a turnaround I came to push you into your overflow I declare and decree that somebody is coming out of lack, coming out of limitation, coming into a new season, coming into testimony, coming into a turnaround. Shout, I receive it. If you believe it, say, I receive it. You will walk in the overflow. You will live in the overflow. You will have the overflow. Shout, amen, three times. overflow will follow you it will come to your house if you don't see it if you don't believe it it won't happen but tonight by the mantle of God on my life I push you into the overflow say amen again I became so burdened for people of my color in the city of London used to take a prayer walk one time when we lived so close to the heart of business part of London and I just noticed the reverse traffic the people of my color went in early morning to clean and as they come out other people went in to walk men in black not, not, not uh, Smith now my people were not the men in black I became so burdened I took it upon myself. Went to every bank. Collected every flyer, every information they had on investment, on owning property. I became the number one teacher on owning real estate in the whole of the United Kingdom to my people. In those days, people in the United Kingdom who were my color would rejoice. They will call a party when they got a government apartment which was cheap and it's not theirs. I began to teach them to own. I began to teach them to own. Something turned around. Poverty was broken. Lack was broken. Increase. Breakthrough came. Tonight as I speak, they overflow here. I don't care whether you are only one month, six months, one year. I declare tonight that your story will change. Look at me. You can only operate by the lights available to you. A couple left KRCC London to go live in, in Houston. Six months after they got there, they bought their own house. Everyone they knew in Houston came to look at them and said, you met us here. We've been here 10 years. We were told it's not possible. They said, well, where we are coming from. We were told to not rent, but to own. As I speak to you, the same family owned probably 10 apartments. Hey, barrister, all the way from London. It's good to see you here today. Is that your daughter or who is that? Okay, okay. You came for this meeting? And something else. Please welcome me as one of the members in KC London. Listen tonight! Somebody here. I didn't come to rejoice with you because you live in Toronto. Because the world has gone past that. Or you live in some nice apartment. You should own the land. That's why God is telling me to tell you to live in the overflow. 
An overflow means you already have excess. Not, 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 not struggling. You live in the overflow. You are like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season. I pray for somebody here there will be an overflow. I say again there will be an overflow. The woman, her husband left her in poverty and broke. She ran to the man of God. He told her, what do you have in your house? She said, only a bottle of oil. He said, that's enough. Grab that bottle of oil. Go and borrow vessels. She borrowed vessels. Hey, ladies, gentlemen, now that you are in Toronto, you need to borrow vessels. Leave the vessel that did not work for you in your country of Togo or Nigeria or Ghana or Jamaica. Leave it behind and borrow new vessels and pour the oil into it. Stop replicating the mushing Lagos you came from. Stop replicating the Dansuma in Accra you came from. Borrow new vessels. Let no one be able to classify you. Because if they classify you, they will nullify you. Let them be wondering where is he from. Because you are too smart. You are too gifted. You are too anointed. You are too blessed. So they can't classify you. That will make you to flow. I prophesy on someone here today. That your season is coming. You will overflow. I said you will overflow. The doors will open. The favor will flow. The blessing will rest. In the name of Jesus. Blessing to your left. Blessing to your right. In the name of Jesus. Shout I receive it. You will exceed capacity. I said you will exceed capacity. I say again you will exceed capacity. Say amen with power. Look at me. God is a God of capacity. Through the prophet Elisha. He told the woman go and borrow vessels. And the woman went and borrowed all the pots in the village. That could be embarrassing. When women go knocking on other people's door and say, loan me your pot. Loan me your pot. Everybody will want to know your business. And that's our problem sometimes. We don't want anyone to know our business. Let them know. Very soon they will not be able to laugh at you. They will laugh with you. She borrowed all the vessels and began to pour. The oil didn't stop until there was no room. Somebody is in Toronto this day. I declare and decree there will be an overflow in your life. New doors will open. New favor will come. New connections. New opportunities. New breakthroughs. New doors. New favors. New blessings. Shout amen. Every time there is an overwhelming experience. Every time there has been a stress. When God brings the overflow, it's usually excessive. Second Kings chapter 6 to chapter 7 verse 10. There was no food in, in, in the land. And the prophet came and said, about this time tomorrow, there will be such abundance that there will be too much. Price will fall. And one guy who graduated summer cum laude from the Harvard University, said where do these pastors learn their own economics even if the windows of heaven were open how can it be he didn't know my God yes, today is May the 23rd by December 31 you can be an employer of a thousand people you can be an owner of ten houses you can be an owner of a whole estate if you believe it, say I receive it. There will be no regret in your life. I said there will be no regret in your life. I said there will be no regret in your life. Somebody say overflow. Say it again overflow. Every door that shut in your life will only push you to your testimony. I was supposed to resume January 1984. In Winnipeg Seminary, Ottawa, Manitoba. And suddenly the church I worked for said, 
Forget about your master's degree. Go and pastor for us in London. What you are willing to walk away from determines what you walk into. In those days, I'm talking 39 years ago, man. I had already paid the school fee. $10,000 39 years ago is a lot of money, man. But they said, cancel it. We are sending you. I just believed in obedience. I just forgot about the masters. I moved to London. The rest is history. If I didn't do that, there would be no KICC. I would have missed my destiny. God was leading me into the overflow. And it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. In fact, I just needed to walk into the Canadian Embassy or High Commission those days and they'll stamp my passport and I'll be in Canada. But the same London I'm going to, they even were wasting time. I used to, in those days, we go to London without visa. We just show up at the airport. What did you come to do? I came to see the snow. <laughs> and you say, they say, there's no snow in August. I shall wait for the snow. <laughs> This time around, because I'm going there to work, they say you have to wait until London approves. So, I want to go to Canada. I've already paid the school fee. It's very easy. But God says, not that one. The one he's saying I should go, they're making it hard. But look what the Lord has done. I live in the overflow. I come with the grace of overflow. I speak into somebody's life tonight. I know the time is gone. But tonight I prophesy to your life. I declare on this altar, she will live in the overflow. She will operate in the overflow. In the name of Jesus, overflow will follow you. This will be your testimony. Shout amen three times. Second Chronicles chapter 20 from verse 20. King, from verse 1, somebody writes King Jehoshaphat, they're coming to kill you, eat you up, destroy you, you and the whole of Judah. He didn't know that that was a setup for overflow. Look at me. Anyone who's here today, you're having difficulty getting a job or difficulty with, your, with the income you have or difficulty in one area, it's a setup. It's a setup for your overflow. Somebody scream, it's a setup. Say it like you mean it's a setup. Say it one more time, it's a setup. Three nations wrote King Jehoshaphat. And guess what? Even the three nations were his own cousins. Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir are their cousins. Ammon and Moab are the children of Lot. Mount Seir is another name for the Edomites, who are actually the sons of Esau, the brother of Jacob. The people of your household are your enemies. The roads were coming to kill you. He cried to the Lord. I cried unto the Lord with my voice and he heard me from his holy hill. God sent a word to them that, hey, go to the battle. In fact, don't carry any weapon. Just go. Let put Judah first. Put praise first. Tell your neighbor, put praise first. Tell your neighbor again, put praise first. Put praise first. When you meet the things you don't understand, praise the Lord. When you meet a battle you can't understand, praise the Lord. When the enemy threatens you, praise the Lord. When they tell you you will die, praise the Lord. When health issues come, praise the Lord. When the enemy comes like a flood, praise the Lord. Put Judah first. Because it was when they put Judah first that Jehaziel prophesied and said, Thus saith the Lord. Go to the battle. Don't carry a weapon, but just know and be singing. Praise ye the Lord, for his mercy endureth forever and ever. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord, for his mercy endureth forever and ever. Praise ye the Lord. How do you go to war singing? The enemy can see you. Why do they wear camouflage? So that the enemy will think they are trees. No. God said, no, no, expose your shirt. Let us let Tell them you are not enough. Like we say in Lagos. You are not enough. Come. God said expose yourself to them. Some of you battles have come and you have been, you have been questioning God. Where are you? 
with all my tithing. Shut up. Shut up. What is your tithe? Who gave you? How much is it? What can it buy? No one deserves to do that. You know, when Abraham said to God, I, I go childless, God looked at him. When I called you, you were 75. Have you not entered the departure lounge already? Now I want to bless you. You are even complaining. I came tonight to let somebody know. Where they say you will die is where your resurrection will be. God said, go to the battle. When they got there, they made too much food, too much money, too much gold, too much silver. It took them three days to carry. Open your right hand one more time. I came all the way from London to prophesy. You will live in the overflow. You will operate in the overflow. You will walk in the overflow. You will handle the overflow. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. Put your hands together. Give God praise. Give God a praise. Give God a praise. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leaves me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He, he, my cup overflows. I close tonight by just one more story. And I close. The Bible says in the book of John. In the book of Luke chapter 5. Jesus uses Peter's boat to preach to the crowd. From verse 1 to 7. After he finishes preaching. He tells Peter. Throw your nets to that side for a catch. Peter looks at Jesus and says. We've toiled all night long. And did not catch one fish. Nevertheless at thy word. Somebody say nevertheless. Say it three times. There will be days in Toronto when you can't see the way, but nevertheless at his word. There will be days in Toronto when it looks like things are very difficult, but nevertheless at his word. There will be days when the bank turned you down, nevertheless at his word. There will be days when you know you are more qualified than the guy they want to choose, but nevertheless at his word. There will be a turnaround. 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 There will be a turnaround in the name of Jesus. Peter said, we have told no all night long. Didn't catch any fish. Nevertheless, at thy word. I will let down the net. He throws the net. Listen, he's been there all night and caught what? Nothing. Bankrupt. Workers are around. They are waiting for their salary. No money to pay. He probably is telling them, you know me. I will pay you, just add it to do my credit. But suddenly Jesus said, throw your nets. And he looks at Jesus. He knows that they've stirred up the water, there should not be any fish. But if he speaks, he has a track record of keeping his word. He threw the net. And as Peter began to draw the net, the Bible said, the net began to break. As he pulls it into a ship, the ship began to sink. Somebody in this service, next time I come, she will be the one testifying of a net breaking, boat sinking, overflowing, favor in the name of Jesus. Shout amen three times. Not only was the net breaking and the boat sinking, then he had to hire other people. That's in the next level for you. Not you just getting a job, but hiring people. He had to hire the other boat and hire the other nets. And when they also came, the Bible says, even their own net was breaking, their boat was sinking. I declare your capacity is changing. You are entering the overflow. You are operating in the overflow. You will live in the overflow. You will enjoy the overflow. From today, something will change. Your story will change. In the name of Jesus, I close this service tonight. I speak right now against every generational curse, against every family battle, every destiny embargo, every mental limitation. I plead the blood of Jesus. I declare you will enter your purpose. 
you will enter your blessing. The grace to see will come upon you. The grace to hear will come upon you. You will see where your blessing is. You will hear where your blessing is. You will not waste your life. You will not waste your time. And for somebody here, the curse is broken. The curse is broken. The curse is broken. The curse is broken. It is broken. It is broken. It is broken. God will do a new thing in your life. He will surpass your imagination. Shout amen three times. Somebody say overflow. Say it again, overflow. Everyone standing, I'm going to close very soon. Get to learn how to take a revelation and run with it. Every time I look at KRCC London, I see all manners of people who heard me when I taught things like owning real estate. I have a young man in church. Didn't have much education. Matter of fact, first time I saw him, he was helping a ministry to duplicate tapes. How many of you remember the days of tapes? Helping them to duplicate tapes. That was his full-time job. Was working for Wale OK in Nigeria. He managed to get a visa and just end in the UK. And then he came to KRCC. Since I go preach for my friend Wale OK. Then he had me teaching on real estate. Didn't go to much school. Doesn't even have a degree up till now. The guy just focused. Today he owns about 40 properties in the city of London. Any degree he needs, his children should get it for him now. 40 men, 40. He's living in the overflow. Second person, if you've ever seen my book called The Ten M's of Money, I wrote her testimony on the back of the book. She came into KRCC as, as a medical doctor. And she heard me teach on real estate because the only estate that is real is real estate. All other estates are unreal. The lady today, Dr. Agnes, the other day at the Gathering of Champions, two young men came into our premises during our conference. And I was introducing her. I said, oh, this is Dr. Agnes. She doesn't practice medicine anymore. She's just into real estate. She owns about 60 properties. She said, no, Pastor, it's 100. <laughs> Even me who taught her. I wish she can lay hand on me. Lift your both hands. Lift your two hands. As you have lifted those hands, they will hand overflow. You will live in the overflow. Everything that is not working in your life will begin to work. What used to oppress you is broken. I speak into your life today. That thing that was a concern to you before you came here, it expires from today. A new day begins. A new season. You will not live here the same. You will live with a song. With a testimony. Every coffin prepared for you this year is cancelled. You will live long and strong. The blessing of life. The blessing of health. The blessing of divine direction. The blessing of peace will overflow in your life. I touch tonight on the overflow. Receive overflowing blessing. Overflow of health. Overflowing joy. Overflowing peace. Overflowing grace. Overflowing glory. Overflowing testimony. In the name of Jesus. All areas overflow. All areas overflow. I said all areas overflow. From tonight, let the miracles begin. About this time tomorrow, when you are in this meeting, you will come with a testimony. You will come with a testimony. I said you will come with a testimony. I repeat, you will come with a testimony. Put your hands together and bless the Lord. He has a track record.
of keeping his word. Bless him, bless him, bless him. There is nothing you cannot. Hey! There's no mountain. to shout hey, I'm living in the overflow come on I want them to hear us downtown I am living in the overflow I want you to take a prophetic step the word of the Lord has come if you can take steps from your seat and say I step into a new season I step into a new season I step into a new season if the singers can come on stage we have to seal this word with a shout of victory am I the only one who believes that Am I the only one who received the word? We have to seal this word with a shout of victory. I am living in the overflow. You are mighty, oh. I received that word that by this time tomorrow did you hear me pastor said by this time tomorrow where are the people testifying this time tomorrow they'll say pastor I know you want to get into the word but God did it already where are those people now now I know the time is fast spent if you come late tomorrow you might not get a seat we'll put chairs on the roof for you to sit all right, so please, I want you to spread the word. We are going to raise a shout. JJ Erston is going to be here tomorrow with his full team. Minister Kola is going to be here tomorrow with his full team. And I'm going to raise a shout. I, I want us to wrap up with this sound that says, Hallelujah, hey! Hallelujah, oh! Help me, guys. Hallelujah, hey! It's the sound of victory. It's the sound of victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Come on, let the sound. Let the sound. Let the sound. Yeah. Of rejoicing fill this sound. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Sounded like I was going to rap. So we are going to adjourn the service. We are back tomorrow at 6.30. I'll be telling them, but say 6.30. You are back here with your friends and with your testimonies. Look for a neighbor, another neighbor. Tell them 6.30. Tomorrow, we are back here with the full squad and with our testimonies. Every KICC service in Canada, we shout that the Lord is good and his mercies endure forever. For the Lord is good. That's now Jehoshaphat and the guy shouted. I want you to shout real loud. For the Lord is good. We'll tweet two more times. For the Lord is good. And his mercy endures forever. Someone this shouts, you're about to shout now. I heard clearly there is a growth that is going to fly out from your body. Do you believe it? It's literally the last action of the night. For the Lord is good. God bless you. See you tomorrow at 6.30.
Hallelujah. Hey. Hey. Hallelujah. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Hallelujah. Hey. It's the sound of victory. It's the sound of victory. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. Oh. Let the sound. Let the sound of rejoicing fill. Let's go. It's the sound of victory. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Let this sound say, let the sound of rejoicing fill this house. Somebody say, He has, He has made a way where there is no way. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It's the sound of victory. It's the sound of victory. Hallelujah. Put your hands on it now. One, two, three. One, two, three. Come on, make it loud. Let them hear it in heaven. Somebody put a shout on it. Somebody put a shout on it. Now grab somebody's hands. Grab somebody's hands. And declare it. Won't you go? He has made a way, sir. He has made a way. Let's go. Come on. Where the was no way. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. I see you. It's the sound of It's the sound of victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Oh. Let the sound. Let the sound. Hey. Of rejoicing feel. Okay, bring it down. Two, three, four. Let's go. Say creator of the universe. Say what can you do? Let's go, say what can you do? That's it, Jesus. Everybody, name above, say name above every other name. Ah, ah. What can you do? 